Hey guys, we're doing our weekly market update. Merry Christmas to everybody right off the bat. Uh, wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys get some downtime with family. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're going to run through this pretty quick for the holiday edition. Um, okay, so right now we're running at 76 closed days on market. We are at 3.64 month supply. Just real quick, last week we we're at 4.4 month supply. So that means we've eaten up some inventory and some inventory has coming off, been coming off the market due to the holidays, especially. That's pretty typical. Not, no surprise there. This is the slowest time of year, guys. So a lot of this stuff is just kind of normal cycle stuff. Uh, also, I want to you know give you a little input here on the interest rates. They did go down, but they went down at the slowest time of year. So although uh, we are seeing people maybe uh, the uptick in numbers of reapplying for pre-approvals on, on the uptick, uh, what's going to happen, guys, is, and I've explained this before, uh, like every year in the cycle, January, we're going to get properties, uh, searches started back up again, pre-approvals ramp back up again, or updated, um, because after a few months, you got to update those, or a few weeks, depending on everybody's situation. Coming into a new tax year, people may want to update things anyway, or get started with their pre-approvals, because they're going to have their taxes done. They're going to have their down payment, maybe from their taxes and all those sorts of things. Um, then we're, you know, people are going to be thinking, okay, I want to buy, you know, right around when my kids are out of school and not have to deal with that after school's back in, right? So all these things come into play, the seasonal stuff, unless we're talking about Sun City or retirement communities, those are going to be more like fall, winter, high seasons. But typically, that's what we're seeing overall. So just to set the stage, every year it goes like this. And every year we get the clickbait on YouTube and all these other places about, oh, the market's going down. Da, 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 da. But it's 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 not. We're at all-time highs as far as prices go. And we're going to see definitely a trend in the uh, Fed fund rate along with the mortgage rate going down. And in every recession except 2008, um, which actually started around 2005 due to over inventory, which we're nowhere near now. And due to poor lending practices, which we don't have now, um, that was a housing recession. All the other recessions were not. So if we are in a recession or we get into a recession, which we usually find out after the fact, uh, that is something that where housing does well because interest rates usually go down. Okay. And nobody's looking for a recession, but you know, usually, uh, you know, that's just typically what happens. And I pulled that, I think I showed the chart a week or two ago on the recessions and how prices will go up every time on, on housing. It just, housing does well. So um, and where we are right now on inventory and rates trending down, that's what we want as far as prices increasing. Now, as far as buyers are concerned, they don't have as many choices when there's low inventory. We are seeing builders ramp up inventory because new inventory is really new builds, okay? So when we're looking at these months supply and all these different things, keep all this in mind as a framework. Um, and we'll see properties going under contract due to the 30-day typical escrow period, uh, an uptick in those around February, beginning of February. And, uh, you know, then we'll start seeing properties close shortly thereafter. So all this just kind of happens, you know, property searches start, Properties going under contract January, beginning of February, and then closing start ramping up right straight through spring, very early summer for us, and then boom. So anyway, that's the story there. Um, and then the absorption rate, again, pretty normal, 27.35. We might want to see that closer uh, to the low 30s, of course, but uh, low to mid 30s. Right now, the uh, average list price, 70.71. 589 for the average sales price. And if we look at week over week, actually better on the actual sales price, right? We're actually up. And again, that's just kind of an overall picture of the greater Phoenix area for these charts. Um, and uh, we can see more homes. This this was, you know, back when the, we were in the crazy season uh, or crazy time, you know, a couple of years back or a year ago, a uh, year and a half, two years ago, I should say, we the, these numbers were down in the 40s. So these homes that are priced under 500,000, there's been more of them put in by the builders to keep up with the demand for that first time home buyer. Uh, also, a lot of people who maybe tried to get into the investment market, Airbnb, stuff like that, 
uh, when the rates were super low and the market was crazy are now unloading those. So we're starting to see that happen. And we talked about some of the new regulations that may be coming down the pike uh, a week ago about some of these other, in, you know, uh, Wall Street, let's call them Wall Street investors, okay? So yeah, if you want to know more about that, take a look at that. But we can see the active, the pending, and the closed units are down. Again, this typical during this time of year, all right? So guys, that's a really quick, and these are the days on market um, for each of these price brackets, just to give you an idea. And all of that's pretty normal. I would say we are definitely in what I would call a uh, balance market, okay? So, um, uh, and I'll get into that in a minute and show you exactly why I'm saying that. But right now, slower time of year, it's just kind of normal balance both ways. Um, and I'll show you the exact data for that. Um, current mortgage rates, holding steady from the drop. Remember, we were all just a few weeks ago up at eight because the bond market was at five. We've got this huge spread because of the crazy economy we're in and the validity, uh, uh, volatility in the um, validity, the volatility in the uh, bond market that we've seen and with the credit rating and bank issues and all that and the Fed rate going up, you know, some investors just didn't want to play play the game. But these have been holding steady. They've just been kind of sideways all week, up or down uh, 0.01 or so or two points uh, back and forth. So they've just been kind of sitting in that same spot all week. Um, you know, you know, they closed at two o'clock today, a little early for the holiday, but minimal volatility. Now we here in the Phoenix area are in what we would say is a balanced market specifically for the Cromford Market Index. Cromford is the company that gives uh, our gurus who take all the data from our multiple listing service and they uh, figure out what's going on. On their index, we are in a balanced market because from 90 to 110 on their on their index is a balanced market. We've been pretty much sitting here at this spot for a few weeks now, uh, right around the same number of 104-ish. Uh, <laughs> so we're right in that balanced range between that 90 to 110. Uh, on supply, uh, so below 90 is, is, is a, a buyer's market on the index. Above 110 is a seller's market as far as the overall index is concerned. So we're sitting pretty much right there in the middle. We're in balance. These two numbers are the same. We're in complete balance as far as supply and demand. Right now, this number here is about 65 points, 64 and some change lower than where we would want to see it as far as overall supply. And our demand is actually uh, 30, uh, 30, uh, 31.5 lower than where we want to see it. Sorry, I am just forgot to pull one other thing up for you guys. Well, that is thinking. Okay, let's do that. Great. Um, I wanted to pull up the uh, actual supply for you so you could see it right now. Um, and I usually have that ready to go. I apologize. So anyway, um, that's that's kind of where we're at there. We, you know, low supply, uh, low demand, demand. Everything's just kind of sitting there uh, for the last uh, couple of weeks. And, you know, this happened with the lower rates again, but we're in a slow time of year. Okay. So we're going to see things pick up really, really fast once uh, things switch up here. Okay. So in any case, um, the 10 year treasury along with the, all the inflationary factors or what we're normally looking at year over year, our inflation has come way down into the low threes. Uh, we were up at nine now, um, you know, and that, that's when we were up at eight, we, these, this bond market was at five. Uh, we can see that right here. Um, where it went all the way up to five. Now we're at 3.9. And, um, you know, we're hoping to see that that split get back to normal where it should be, where right now it's, you know, still, um, you know, about three points away from each other, give or take a little bit. We would usually like to see that around two uh, points from where the treasury is to where the mortgage rates are. And again, remember these mortgage rates, I've told you this before, these are retail average rates. So 
if you want a lower rate without even getting into the two one three two one buy downs and all that, um, you can look at working with a mortgage broker, which we do all day long. Okay. Um, one of the other things that uh, I wanted to mention to you guys was the actual supply. So today, right now, without pulling this over and wasting more time on here for you for the holiday, we are just over 15,000 homes for sale. That's been sitting there kind of uh, where we've been for quite a while. All property types for sale right now at the moment, not under contract, 15,000. Um, and that is across the metro area. So uh, again, during the crash, we were over 50,000. We were like 56, 58,000 during the crash. Nowhere near those levels, nowhere near uh, a normal market for us. Again, balance it would be around uh, four to six. So right now we're below four. So again, you, with, with super low supply, you're just not gonna have a market, a market crash. And that's kind of where the country is too across the board. Um, so, uh, the one last thing I'll leave you with is the actual cities, the actual cities, uh, in the greater Phoenix area that are in a balanced, uh, part of the market for their own indexes are, um, Peoria, Paradise Valley and Goodyear. Okay. Buyer's market. If you're looking to buy right now, you might get a better deal in surprise cave Creek, uh, although Goodyear um, is actually going up a little bit, went up 14%. Um, let's see, Cape Creek, uh, Queen Creek, Buckeye and Maricopa City, those are all in buyer markets. And then for seller markets on the index, technically Tempe at ten, little, just over 10, 110, I'm sorry, 110.6. <laughs> Mesa, uh, 112, Avondale, Phoenix, um, proper, those, those are all, uh, above the 110 mark on the index. So they're in a seller market. Scottsdale itself is, uh, 1% up on the index. They're at 120 Glendale, Gilbert, Fountain Hills. Those are all in, in uh, sellers markets and topping the list is Chandler. And that is going to be, um, at 166 on the index. And that's up 3%. So guys, um, if you want more information specifically about what's going on in your neighborhood and zip code, all that good stuff, uh, we like to get a, uh, you know, maybe a price on your property, want more information about, you know, some strategies we could use to get your property sold. We, uh, and what, I, I think I mentioned this the other week, uh, what's typical right now is people coming in, uh, we're able to come in um, all day long with a, you know, best cash offer. We even have a program called knock um, that we're certified with where basically they'll come in, they'll give you money if you need it to fix up your home. Obviously you have to pay it back out of your equity once your property sells. Uh, but they use kind of a uh, bridge loan set up for this, but you can actually move today um, as long as your home qualifies, uh, which most homes do. Uh, if you have solar, solar leases and stuff that can get a little hairy, uh, but uh, you know, real estate in general, as far as your, single family homes and whatnot. If you're looking to, you know, just get moved on and not have to deal with all the showings and stuff, you can move today. They'll pay your mortgage for uh, however long it takes to get the property sold, which shouldn't take that long. Um, if it's marketed and priced properly, um, we'll get the property on the market. They will give you a secondary offer. It's, it's usually a right at good market value too. But you still have the opportunity to list your home for sale, uh, you know, with us. And we're able to, um, you know, again, they give you, I think it's up to 35 or 50,000 now. They just changed it. Um, and if you need money for repairs, cleanup, paint, you know, whatever. Um, and again, I usually like to use my three to 5% rule for paint, maybe some carpet spruce up. Maybe you've got some old brass light fixtures or something like that. You want to get spruced up. You know, the things that are going to be more dollar to dollar for dollar, not like full kitchen and full bathroom remodels, but kind of a freshen up um, some paint, you know, um, maybe some other flooring and those sorts of things. Get that done with them. If you, if you want to use their, their cash, they'll float you. Um, they'll have you paid back, back through the sale. And then, um, you know, you, you're already moved out. You don't have to deal with showings. We, we market the property, get it sold for you. 
you pay the money back for any of the repairs that needed to be done and uh, for the bridge loan as far as the uh, you know m the mortgage being taken care of over here by knock. So you're not paying on two mortgages. They're paying your old mortgage. You're already at your house paying a new mortgage and you don't have to deal with any showings. We can get it spruced up. So that's just one, one uh, uh, way of doing it. Or we could come in you know, we, with all kinds of different cash offers from different companies um, along with listing your home for sale uh, without doing the knock program. So we've got a lot of different strategies and options for that price bracketing strategy. Um, as always fits the way people search and get pre-qualified for home loans, super important. And you want to make sure your home is properly marketed and presents the way a buyer is going to want to put an offer on it. So guys, please reach out to us for any questions and we wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.